welcome back as always thank you to the new subscribers if you're not subscribed yet please do and make sure that you share the channel so we can continue to grow this channel here I am going to do another artist feature video today the first one was pretty popular and I had a lot of contact with additional chicken artists so I'm going to feature some more here some fun stuff these people are just so creative. I just wanted to share some more of these with you. First up is Eva Stroberg. She makes fun cartoon-like drawings of chickens. Look at how adorable that is. Fun stuff. I love it. So much detail, too. There's a couple more that she does. I just love those. Next up, she actually has a painted, a hand-painted egg. Easter is coming up. This would be a great gift. I could also see having this maybe as a centerpiece on a table. There's so much detail in that egg. Look at that. Beautiful. She actually makes pendants and other things as well. You can con her, contact her at F-U-G-L-E-M-A-K-E-R-E-N at gmail. Fugel Maker is actually Norwegian for bird maker. These are some drawings by Dorothy Anderson Wade, Anderson S-O-N. She has so many different hand drawings that she does on her Facebook page. And you can email her at wade at andwadeart. I could see these in a frame. They're just so adorable. This next one coming up would be great for Valentine's Day. So cute. She's so creative. I just love her drawings. They're so fun. This next one here, I'd like to get a copy of myself. I could see a couple of these in frames in a kitchen would be just adorable. She does other things as well. She does some hand-sewn chickens which would be cute on a desk i have those coming up here in a second this is another one of her hand drawings so much detail and color in these they're so fun i just love dorothy's work any of these artists that i feature can be contacted through the emails or you can always contact me as well or comment below on this video. Next artist up is Crystal P. Yannis. You can find her on Facebook. She does fun little polymer clay figurines of chickens. These are so adorable. I've never seen anything like this actually. So unique. What I would do with these actually myself, I, I used to own a coffee shop and I did cakes. I was a cake decorator. I would get some of these and I should order some of these to decorate cakes. There's so much you could do with these. You could make a little Christmas wreath and attach them to the wreath. Again, these would be cute on a desk also. So much detail, so much fine detail in these little clay figurines. They're so cute. So much you could do with these little guys. Again, I will put her contact information here on the screen. Now, Crystal also makes artwork out of recycled materials. So she does other artwork as well. Find her on Facebook there. I wanted to share another book with you also. I have several chicken books. Some of them I got as gifts. Some of them I purchased for doing research. I got this book right here, How to Speak Chicken, in one of my Henny and Rue monthly boxes. I mentioned those and how you can order those on my previous artist video. I first started reading this. I gotta, I gotta admit, I don't read a whole lot. I don't have much time. I'm kind of a busy lady, but... I started reading it, just skimming through it, not really paying attention, and a friend of mine, another subscriber to my channel named Nicole, hi Nicole, has this same book, and she's like, no, seriously, sit down and read it, it's really interesting, and so I did, I took some more time to read it, and it is, it's an awesome book, I just wanted to read a little bit of it, actually, 
because there's so much information in here and interesting things that I actually had no idea about. Part of it is, what do chickens dream about? Very interesting. It says, chickens are very interesting sleepers because each eye is attached to the opposite side of the brain. Chickens can be asleep and awake at the same time. If you ever try sneaking up on a resting hen, you are likely to find her with one eye open and one eye closed. This technique of sleeping is important during the day as it allows for napping while staying alert for predators. At night when chickens sleep in a row on the roost, the middle chickens can sleep with both eyes closed. The two chickens on the ends sleep with their outer eyes open but move to a new spot on the roost during the night to rest both sides of their brain. I didn't know about this. Very interesting stuff. Also, how do chickens smell? Chickens use smell to find food and to sense when predators are near. Recent research on penguins allows us to infer that chickens might also possess the ability to use scent to distinguish individuals and to identify ones that they are genetically related to. This ability could help them to prevent inbreeding within a flock. Very interesting. Again, how to speak chicken. Author is Melissa Coey. I could be saying that wrong. C-A-U-G-H-E-Y. Very interesting book. I wanted to share that with you too. And here's some more chicken artists. A friend of mine named Beatrice Noons actually makes bags of dried herbs, which are really healthy for chickens. Things in there like basil and oregano, which is good for respiratory health. Rose petals and rosemary. Things like antioxidants, dill and sage. There's also fennel, mint, parsley in there and more. Those are great to put in nesting boxes and inside the coops. Now she actually makes saddles for quails. I've never seen anybody who makes these this small. This is actually one of her specialties is quail saddles. Aren't they adorable? <laughs> so again, contact Beatrice Noons for any of those things that she makes there. Next artist up is Michael Sigmund. He makes photorealistic watercolor portraits of pets. This actually looks like a hen that I had of mine. It's so realistic. He captures the personality there of the chickens. So much detail. I just love his paintings. They're amazing. The sizes that he usually does are 9 by 12 on watercolor paper or 16 by 20 on watercolor canvas. These are some guineas that he did. Again, so much detail. And he captures the expression of the birds so well. I just love these. I have to get some of these. He's also done paintings for people as memorials when their birds pass away. Look at the detail in this one. Just outstanding work. I wonder how much time this takes him to create such a wonderful, wonderful artwork. This is again one of his paintings. Very creative, Michael. Love these. Thanks everyone so much for watching. Again, you can contact through the information given or comment below.